Welcome to lesson three of my how to fly a quadcopter FPV in acro mode series. Uh, just as a reminder for everybody, I'm using the default settings on FPV Freerider, and I've got throttle set to zero at bottom. Let's go ahead and get into this lesson. So I'm going to go to the desert track, and let's get started. So far we have used the throttle to maintain our altitude, and we've used the pitch stick to pitch forward and back to adjust our speed. But we haven't done any turning, and that's what we're going to do here. What I'd like you to do now is I'd like you to take off and pitch forward, and then we're going to yaw and see what happens. So I'm going to take off, pitch forward, and now we're going to yaw, and I'm going to pause it. What happened when I yawed? Now the copter is rolled to the side. Why is that? When the copter yaws, it yaws about its own axis. Uh, you can see an example of this in my video on coordinating turns, where I hold the copter in my hand and demonstrate it. But a simple way to put it is that yawing changes the direction that the copter is facing, but it does not change the direction that the copter is tilted. So if I continue this move, you can see when I get back around the direction I was going, I'm still pitched forward exactly like I was. And I'll do it slower this time. Get a little more altitude. I'll pitch forward. And as I yaw, now it's still tilted the same way. I'm just facing a different direction. Still tilted the same way, just facing a different direction. Until I get all the way back around where I was, still tilted the same way, just facing a different direction. So one takeaway from this is that yaw alone cannot turn the copter. Yaw changes the direction you're facing, not the direction you're moving or, or tilted. And, uh, and so then what's yaw good for? And to understand that, let's now practice with some roll. I'm going to take off again. And this time, I'm going to input some roll. Now I'm drifting sideways. Okay, and the horizon is tilted, and I can use yaw to turn back in the direction I'm facing. Let me reset again. I'm going to take off. I'm going to input some roll. Now I'm drifting, and I'm going to turn with yaw to face the direction I'm moving. Boom, and I crash. Okay, so when you're flying FPV, your safety position, the safest thing you can be doing, is to be facing the direction you're moving. If you're ever flying and you find that you're drifting in a direction other than the direction you're, you're, you're actually facing, turn with the yaw stick to face the direction you're moving. And then the next thing you can do is you can pitch back to slow down or pitch forward to speed up as need be. So here's an exercise you can try. Take off, get some altitude, Input some roll. It doesn't really matter what, what it is. Any roll. Now, turn to face the direction you're moving. And then pitch back to slow down. All while using the throttle to maintain altitude. Now, do you see how I've pitched back so far that I'm now drifting backwards? That's too far. That's not good because I'm going to back into something. So you want to back pitch back enough to slow down but not so much that you start drifting backward. Remember, always be moving slightly forward. Don't try to hover until you're a much better pilot. Let me turn around, and we're gonna do it again. Pitch forward, input some roll, turn to face the direction you're moving, and pitch back to slow down, okay? Notice that when I turn to face the direction I'm moving, the horizon levels out. Let's do another example. Hang on. I'm flying forward. Input some roll. Now I'm drifting. Turn to face the direction I'm moving. The horizon levels out. And I pitch backward to slow down. Okay. So do that exercise a few times and practice it. And, uh, and see how it goes for you. I want you to notice something when you do that exercise, and hopefully you've practiced it a few times now and maybe you've noticed this. When you 
pitch back to slow down, are you gaining altitude? If you are, the reason for that is that, remember that when we take off and we pitch forward, we start to lose altitude and have to increase throttle. And the reason for that is that when we pitch forward, some of our thrust is pushing us forward instead of just lifting us up. So we need more thrust altogether to maintain the same altitude. Well, likewise, if I go from pitch forward and maintaining altitude to flat, I will start to gain altitude. So, again, if you do this exercise, you roll to the side, you yaw to face the direction you're going, and you pitch back to slow down, you also need to reduce your throttle, or your copter will, it's called ballooning, your copter will sort of tend to pop up. So this is all stuff that you're managing in real time. It will become second nature with practice. For now, it may be a bit much. Don't worry, it'll, you'll get there. That's the drill for today. Uh, take off, go forward, roll to the side. So you're drifting, face the direction you're going, level the horizon, and pitch back to slow down. But don't allow yourself to drift backwards, okay? That's your safety position anytime you're flying. Anytime you're flying and you're not going the direction that you're facing, turn, yaw, to face the direction you're going. And then, if you're going too fast, pitch back to slow down. And if you can get that to be consistent and second nature, you'll never, ever crash into anything, ever. And if you believe that, I've got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> All right, see you next time.